there, it's Mrs Underwood-Jones. So usually I'm the student support leader for years 9 and 10 um, and I thought I would do a video, it's now, I think it's 9 o'clock at night, um, getting ready for year 10s predominantly to start back into school. I will be in the office on Monday morning. Um, I was thinking about how I was feeling about going back to work and just wanted to do um, a series of videos to acknowledge the fact that there's going to be a lot of people and a lot of students in particular that will be feeling quite anxious about coming back into school um, after such a long time off and uh, with you know the new measures and the new ways of working so I thought I would do some videos I'm not a professional youtuber funnily enough um, so you're gonna have to bear with me while I figure things out and there'll probably be a lot of stuttering and stammering um, but I just wanted to make it clear that things will get better it is totally understandable for why people would be anxious especially at the moment um, I don't have any sort of medical qualification in this sort of mental health area but as a student support leader I do have some insights into the sort of anxieties that students can have and I have run some anti-anxiety groups that were uh, all the resources and everything were all set up by an educational psychologist so i i wanted to share some of that information and some of those resources because i think that the more information people have about anxiety what causes it and some strategies that can help keep calm in difficult situations i think that can be really helpful not necessarily just for coming back to school but for you know all sorts of situations interviews difficult you know conversations that you might need to have when you're older all sorts of things like that so this is aimed about year 10s coming back but is applicable to all year groups at all times so the way that these are going to work is i'm going to make a series of videos each one will have a particular theme and each one will have a new technique that can be used to potentially reduce anxiety. I'll talk through the technique, discuss why it might help, um, ways that it can work, um, and maybe some anecdotes from when I've tried them or you know, having experienced students trying them and feedback that they've given me. So this particular video is Why Are We Here? And the technique is called relaxed breathing. So let's dive in. So the hot cross bun is essentially looking at how an overall situation, whether it be an anxious one or not, um, can cause a massive amount of interactions between what we think, how we behave, the sort of bodily sensations that we can feel, and our emotions and they all interconnect and they all link and drive each other so looking at these videos a lot of them are going to be focusing on uh, thoughts and behavior um, with the overall aim that they can then help and they can then drive and filter down to some of the other um, things on the hot cross bun so there are going to be loads of things that people with anxiety or in anxious situations already do as coping strategies they might not necessarily have that name or might not even be um, as concrete as knowing that that's what they're for but they will be a way of coping so the first thing that I'd like to encourage is for people to actually stop and think about what situations cause them anxiety and then what sort of things they do in those situations that are essentially their coping strategies um, the main thing for that is to make people and to make you more self-aware and also for you to have that sort of sense of empowerment because sometimes anxiety can feel like it's happening to us and we don't have much control um, but having a bank of resources and knowing specifically what you do that can help reduce your anxiety can really help ease your mindset and your feelings about a situation um, when you know that there's something that you can do to try and take control. So the technique for this one is relaxed breathing. There's quite a few other names for it and what it is, but that's what we're going to use for this because I think it's the simplest one. 
So some of you know that I used to be a science teacher before um, getting into pastoral support. So just to get sciency for a second, um, we take in oxygen when we breathe in and then we exhale carbon dioxide as a waste product when we breathe out. And that's totally normal. When we're breathing normally, then that balance between oxygen and carbon dioxide is maintained. And that's a good thing. Um, when we're doing exercise, those levels are maintained, they're just happening at a faster speed or a faster rate. Um, when we become anxious, it changes how we breathe. So we're breathing in more oxygen um, to then create more carbon dioxide, but actually the body isn't doing anything physical that needs that oxygen. So what's happening is when you're exhaling, more carbon dioxide is being expelled um, than it should be. Now, you know, carbon dioxide is a waste product, so you think, oh, well, what difference does that make? Well, actually, the concentration of carbon dioxide in the blood and the change in that when it's unbalanced can actually lead to quite a few symptoms of anxiety. So that's things like feeling lightheaded. Sometimes people get like a tingly feeling in their fingers or their toes, uh, or they feel clammy or sweaty, especially in sort of like their palms. So just by breathing and focusing on breathing, you can actually change your body's response during an anxious situation. So it's it seems something quite simple, but actually it is really, really beneficial and it's quite easy to do um, by yourself and you can practice it sort of anywhere, anytime um, without it being too obvious that you're doing that. Okay, so this slide explains how to go through the feeling of relaxed breathing. Now, I have done, I have recorded this section, I've done this section so many times, I cannot talk through it without giggling. Um, so I'm just going to leave the slide up there to practice. Um, and you know what? When I practiced it, even on my own, I'm, I'm in this room on my own, Mr. Andrew Jones is downstairs, he doesn't. You know know what I'm saying you can't hear what I'm saying but I still feel really silly doing it even when the camera's not running and that that's fine you know it, it's a case of going past that phase of finding it a little bit silly and then practicing it and just focusing on the breathing because that that's essentially what this technique is all about it's about you know regulating your breath focusing on those breaths so then you're not aware of the other things around you. Um, so doing these sort of activities when you're feeling calm is actually quite important. The reason being is that it, it's almost like a, like a muscle memory, if you like, where when you do these things when you're calm, when you need to do them because you're feeling anxious or feeling worried, it's like your body remembers how that technique relates to feeling relaxed so you've got sort of a better chance of, of becoming more relaxed because of it what i found when i've been doing this technique and when i've spoken to students that have done it is that once you really focus on your breathing and you're following the steps you can actually spend a lot longer doing it than you anticipated um and, and that's sort of essentially the biggest positive about this it does what it says on the tin when you focus on your breathing when you follow relaxed breathing other things fall away and you can just focus on doing that um, so it, it can be a really positive experience to do and as I say it, it's quite important to try it when you're feeling calm so then when you really do need to use the technique um, it, it's given you know as much chance as it can to be able to work and to help you. So here's some uh, information, sort of frequently asked questions or things that you might be thinking about or worried about and it's just to, to give you a bit of focus um, for making this technique work as best it can for you. Um, you know it's not necessarily something that's going to work for everyone and I do acknowledge that some of these um, techniques will be quite personal to um, whoever's trying them and using them but as I said I just want to give you the, the broadest range of things that might be able to help um, so then you can start picking and choosing along with your own coping strategies um, as well as some new ones that you can try. 
So I'm getting towards the end of the video for this technique now and I don't have a snappy ending for these videos I'm afraid. Um, I know that's a, a bit of a, a youtuber -y thing. Um, what I will say to end off is that there are other places whether it's talking to somebody, whether it's using an app, whether it's using technology to support you in reaching out to people, but there are, there are things out there um, that can help you, especially if you are really struggling with your anxiety and your worry um, and you need somebody or something to be able to help you move through that. And there's nothing wrong with talking to somebody or reaching out and needing help um, it's a sign that you're a human being nobody's perfect if you know dealing with anxiety and worry was that easy then there wouldn't be all of these various companies and different support things in place in the world so it's just to realize that you're not on your own you can reach out to other people there are things there that can help you and that sometimes feeling happy and feeling well in yourself takes a little bit of work it's not the default setting um, for people to necessarily feel like that and it's okay to need to put some work into doing that, into doing that. Um, what I want to finish the video on, to give you a question to ponder between this video and the next one, um, is a question, can anxiety be good for us?